بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم گریڈ سکس ٹو ڈے فرام یور سبجیکٹ آئی سی ٹی این لیکچر نمبر فور چیپٹر نمبر ون انٹرنیٹ ول بی لرننگ اباؤٹ انٹرنیٹ سروسز ای لرننگ ای لرننگ ریفرز ٹو دا یوز آف دا نیٹ ورک اینڈ کمیونیکیشن ٹیکنالوجی ان ٹیچنگ اینڈ لرننگ The letter E in e-learning stands for the word electronic. You can use the information from the internet in your work. It increases your knowledge and skills. E-learning has now been used by various compu- companies, organizations, schools to educate and upgrade the abilities of their employees and students. Now coming to the term e-learning. E stands for electronic and learning stands for like le- getting something or Uh, getting some knowledge or uh, developing a new skill maybe in yourself so we have the process of learning is like you carry out your bags you go to school you sit in the class you learn and you get back to home but this is the process in which you are physically present somewhere and you have to get the lecture from the teacher and you have to learn but then there is another process of e-learning e-learning involves when uh, you have your computer in front of you you have internet access and you learn from google or you learn from youtube just the way like you're learning these days from your online classes this this is can like also be called e-learning in a way that you are getting your lectures uh, on your computers on your phones and you are playing them on youtube and you're learning this is also a form of e-learning e-commerce now we have another term e-commerce e-commerce is buying and selling of products or services over the internet it is a kind of business on the internet we have shops we have brands they have products we go and buy from them but then they have online websites also from which we can buy stuff then there are sites on which we can sell our own stuff for example you've been hearing about olx maybe So these websites, they do help people to establish their business. They can sell their products or they can buy. So shopping or selling or buying things through internet is called e-commerce. Then we have news groups. A news group is like a notice board or on a particular subject. Anyone can read a write or a message. People may share their views with each other. For example, there might, might be a website on where people have their views shared. Uh, they can write news they can tell people and then they have comments over there people can uh, they give their opinion and then they can reply and have a conversation maybe about their opinion and it is like a notice board notice board means that you uh, publish new to new news over there any update about anything any subject then chat rooms we have another thing on internet available there are chat rooms in chat rooms you can chat with your friends with your relative or anyone from the part of world you can even make new friends on internet chat rooms then email you can send messages or any documents by using email email is a source from which these are basically used in between organizations companies or even your friends that you want to send them something a picture a document a file anything you want to share with them you can send them through their email there's an email address assigned to every person when they make an account and on their account you can send send them information then we have interactive dig- digital television interactive digital television allows user to interact with the broadcaster you can download the serial programs and play games Now this is something like for example you are being watching a drama or a cartoon on your YouTube channel you want to download it you have an option to download you can download and watch it later when you don't have internet connection so basically there are different programs and different uh, serials or things that are available on internet which you can download and then watch it further when the, you don't have internet connection available or like offline games but even to play offline games you once have to uh, and once and for all you have to go and download them Then you have advertising. Advertising is the means of communication used to inform the people about the particular item or matter. You may find various links on the website such as for buying, for buying any product or service. It helps you in saving your time and effort in procuring search items or facilities. For example, you have a product you want to tell about people about it. You have any product. I can give you an example. Uh, for example, you have a soap to sell. Now you want to tell about it to the people that okay I have this it has this 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 qualities it is very good this is the price or uh, this is the quantity you can get it from there or uh, maybe I can provide so all this information now you can provide it on internet this is a modern way of like buy and selling goods the business of e-commerce the way I told you 
e-commerce also involves advertising because once you are going to tell people about your product then they are going to buy it so advertising means telling something or telling someone about uh, what do you have what do you present online games and music you can play various games over the internet you can also listen to songs radio programs and even see films internet helps you to watch live tv shows or events and also cricket matches now for example uh, online games you can search on uh, frave you can search on different websites you can play games on it you can listen to music you can download the music and all of this these things are related to your entertainment then e magazine e papers and e books all those magazines or web, newspapers or online books which are available in your computer over the internet are called e magazine e papers or e books online banking you can go to bank and then you can uh, take and give in money and all of that stuff which happens within inside the bank now can be happened online banks have their online uh, websites banks have their online system you can just transfer the money you can uh, get your money you can uh, do different task of related to your bank accounts online advantages of the internet now we have advantages means uh, the good outcomes of the internet the positivities of the internet by using inter use the internet you can find any type of information of on any subject on the search engines like google and yahoo you can buy or sell goods over the internet you can pay your bills you can read newspapers you can send greetings like eid mubarak or something over the internet you can easily download songs movies and play games like i told you the entertainment one you can fill online forms over the internet like you want now we have admissions of colleges schools and universities over the internet you can apply online you don't have to physically go and uh, do something you can check the train airline timings buy tickets over the internet you can chat with your friends the way i told you about the chat rooms you can easily search and read books over the internet now we have disadvantages as well virus is a very big disadvantage for example uh, when you open different websites on the internet you don't know that this website is authentic or not or maybe this website is corrupted it it must be having a kind of a virus but this is never in some cases the website alarms you that okay this website may have a virus and your computer gets damaged but in many cases they don't basically alarm they don't give you a warning so your computer gets damaged because of the virus virus makes your computer slow or it uh, damages the memory or it erases some data from your computer like it has different disadvantages hacking you can uh, like you're playing a game or maybe you're opening a website and there's a hacker sitting over there hacking is the process of basically illegal gaining access to someone else's computer for example i don't know the password of your computer or any of your account and i try to break the password or try to crack the code and enter your computer access it and access to your memory or your storage this is basically hacking like you are invading someone's privacy without their concern you're getting into the system you're finding things from there you're not even taking the permission so without anybody's permission access uh, getting access into their system is called hacking and the person who does this is called a hacker loss of personal information may be a major drawback for example sometimes all the data which we have is stored in our computer and we can lose it because it is at the end of the day man made technology it can ditch you it can it can make things worst for you as well continuous use of internet is bad for one's mental ability the per the person or people who try to spend most of the time on computer or over the internet their brain uh, has some damages their eyes get damaged their mental ability gets damaged your homework is to exercise cnf on your book page number 16 write key terms and useful shortcuts from page number 14 15 on your notebook thank you so much i'll see you in the next video